Hi there, what's up buddies, welcome back to the channel and the third episode of the Toro Gate Photo Manipulation course. On the previous episodes we've created the gate and the lantern and in this episode we're gonna create the stairs and the rock. So if you haven't watched the first episodes yet, just make sure to watch them first and after that come back to this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's start with the modeling of the stairs first of all and after that we're gonna come back to the modeling the lift part, the rock part of the project. Press shift A and bring a cube, then go to the edit mode by pressing tab and scale it down on the Z axis and scale it down on the Y axis a little bit like this and maybe we can even scale it up on the X axis like this and press tab to go to object mode and bring it a little bit forward and let's add a bevel modifier for this one let's decrease the amount to somewhere like this and maybe we can increase the segments number of segments to make it really smooth and let's add an array modifier and bring it a little bit to the left part like this and we can increase the amount of array to 4 and maybe we can scale it down a little bit scale it in all axis and that's good I think let's apply this array modifier you can come to this arrow and click on apply or you see the hotkey here it's control a you can hover your mouse and hold control a to apply this modifier and if you tap to go to edit mode you can see that we have different objects here now let's add another array modifier for this one add an array modifier and this time we're going to change it from x to z let's change it to zero and let's change the amount of z axis to one and hold shift and decrease or increase the amount of y like this but we, we're gonna make it the vice versa it should be down not the upper one and let's change it to minus one you see that it went to the below of this one and let's change the count to something like 8 or 10 or even maybe we can do 12 for this one that's good I think later we're gonna apply the array modifier but because of that I'm gonna add two loop cuts for each of them because we're gonna make a little bit details on the stairs later press tab to go to the object mode and we can take one of these faces press tab to go to edit mode and come to the face selection mode select one of them and press shift D to duplicate it and right click to cancel the movement and the press P then selection to separate that one and we, we don't need the array modifier let's delete this let's delete it from this shape here press tab to go to edit mode and press A to select everything and scale it on the X axis to somewhere like this and this time scale it but it doesn't fit on this part because we I didn't choose the middle face here because of that we have this issue here press 2 to go to edge selection mode and select this edge and now press g and x then bring it all the way up to here to fit the shape and again press a to select everything and we're gonna extrude it to somewhere around here press e and extrude it somewhere like this and then press tab to go to edit mode to go to object mode and you see that we have this shape here and it would be our ground for this part let's select this one press 3 to go to side or to graphic view and let's take a copy of this one hold shift D and bring it all the way up to here let's zoom in a little bit and make it precise like this and it would be the higher it would be the higher steps but we can increase the amount of this one but you see that it's going backwards it's going downwards because we set the z amount for minus one in this one we can change it to one 
and you see that and also we can change it to change the y amount to positive and we in this case it's it would be fixed let's correct it again bring it here and i think it's good now and we can add a little bit more segments like this that's good for now let's add the rock for the lift part let's save it don't forget to save your project in the case of crashing and creating the software press shift a and bring a cube then bring it all the way up to lift part and let's scale it and scale it on the y-axis a little bit more like this and bring it a little bit higher and maybe we can scale it on the z-axis and scale it again we're gonna we're gonna make the main shape of the rock press 7 to go to the top of the graphic view and bring it to somewhere like this and maybe we can scale it on the z-axis a little bit more and there we go Press tab to go to edit mode and select the face selection mode, select this face, bring it a little bit higher to somewhere like around this and maybe we can select this face again and bring it a little bit to the left side. Come to object mode and don't forget to apply the scale of this object because we scaled it on the object mode. Because of that some changes wouldn't work correctly. Hold ctrl A and select the scale and if you press N on this part you see that the scale amounts all of them are one and there isn't any problem press n to hide this tab so come to edit mode by pressing tab and press a to select everything and right click then subdivide it and we're going to change the subdivision to maybe 30 that's good press tab to go to edit mode and let's add a subdivision modifier by holding ctrl 2 or ctrl 1 but for now let's disable this one and come to the sculpting tab let's zoom out a little bit and here we're gonna sculpt this as a rock it's not a pro sculpturing it's just a simple and easy sculpting and we're not gonna do difficult things here first of all let's select the smooth brush and let's smooth the edges of this one at first like this and make sure to smooth all the edges we don't see these ones these parts on the render part but i'm sensitive about these things because of that i always try to fix the models from all of the views but you can skip this part and just do the front part of the rock the part that we're gonna have it in our render i think for now it is good not bad and you can decrease or increase the size of your brush by pressing F and you see that it's increasing and decreasing you can control it or you can just control from here like this and sculpting with pen is much easier but since I don't have pen and use by mouse uh, I can't get the best results of this so it is smooth now let's come to the clay one and let's select the clay brush and do some sculptures like this and we can increase the strength and decrease the size of brush you see that it is applying right now like this and you can do the vice versa by pressing con by holding control and do it and you see that it is doing the vice versa it's going inside it's pushing the faces inside not the outside and we can come to the layout tab and let's enable this one the subdivision modifier and come back to the sculpting but in that case it would be a little bit slower but we have higher resolution results let's change the brush 
and change the size of the brush you can add shapes like this by holding control to pushing inside to pushing inside the faces like this if you want to push it out just without control you can sculpt it and you want and if you want to push the faces inside you can hold the control and sculpt your and sculpt your model let's bring these ones a little bit outside and also here should be come all the way up to here like this and maybe this part as well and also this part for more detail we're gonna add to add more detail we're gonna use the clay brush for now let's add some main shapes here but it's too much here let's hold control and push it inside a little bit like this and maybe this one and this one this part should be a little bit inside and also we can sculpt these parts it's not it should be subtle not too much like this and I think it is good for now let's come back to the layout tab let's see it it's good the main shape is good but we can add a little bit more details with the clay brush let's decrease the size and add this tiny and subtle details for the rock these are really subtle details and but it has huge effect on the render in the last on the last result let's decrease let's increase the size and decrease the strings and decrease it decrease the size again and add some details here and there and also you can do the other ones as well for example the this one clay suites like this for making it a little bit detailed and i think it's going to be more like it's going to be more like a rock now these parts are so down we can make them a little bit higher like this and you see it's not a big deal you just try to find the correct shapes for your product for your models and let's bring it a little bit out this part the down part I think it's good for now but later maybe we can change it or just leave it like this come back to the layout tab and you see that we have a decent rock here it's good I think and also we can scale it a little bit and bring it a little bit higher and also to the left side just like this and there we go so come back to this stairs press tab to go to edit mode and here you see that we have the array modifier and when we want to change one of the faces the all of the faces would affect this change and i don't want this because of that we have to apply the array modifier hold ctrl a and apply the array modifier and press tab again and you see that we have different objects now we can select them and change it separately without changing the others press one to vertex select mode and come here select this vertex and bring it a little bit down like this we're gonna change these ones to make it a little bit realistic but because in real world nothing is just like nothing is flat just like this 
because of that we're gonna change it to be a little bit realistic select this one bring it a little bit down and also this one and this one should be go higher you see that it's more realistic than the previous one but it's optional it's completely optional you can do it you can leave it just flat as the, as before and i'm gonna do do it for three levels of stairs not all of them because because they won't be on the last render result because of that it would be wasting of the time to do it for all of them just the tiniest effects like this here and there and you can hold alt c to go to x-ray mode and select these two vertices let's come back to the solid view and bring them higher two of them and maybe we can do it for the upper one like this select two of them and bring it a little bit higher we can bring it down this one and maybe like this also let's change the also let's change the other ones and that's good and we can also change them on the y-axis a little bit not so much just a little bit on the y-axis not that one Okay, that's enough and there you go we've created the stairs and this floor and also the rock on the left part in the next episode we're gonna create the last modeling parts including the grass and also we'll add the trees here and there i think next episode will be the last episode for the modeling part and after that we're gonna jump to texturing and lighting stay tuned keep modeling if you have any questions just ask on the comments and if this video was helpful for you and also this course was helpful for you just let me know on the comments below and if you haven't subscribed yet and new to the channel just click on the bottom below to subscribe in the channel and hit the bell in the case of not missing any new videos so see you on the next video